Some members of the ATC testing group are considered adults. This means they are subject to adult themes and adult language. Viewer discretion is advised. To the north is a powerful nation, still new in its founding. It is strong, dependent, and proud, but has not always been this way. Some will tell you it is the leadership that has brought them to where they are. Others, dumb luck. But few will tell you it is the work of a branch of the military that simply doesn't exist. They will tell stories of trained special forces that take on the greatest threats and are never seen. Calling them by only one word, Spectres. This is the tale of one unit's sacrifice for their nation. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. You all uh, get back to the farm, you step off of the uh, wagon, and you get told that they've got some uh, rooms ready for you after you get debriefed on what happened. They ask you guys to go to a uh, room in the main house that you uh, haven't been in before. I assume you all go? Yeah. Okay, just making sure that none of you were going to try some shenanigans already. Um, actually, yeah, boy. Um, when I get a chance, I'm going to try to slip away from the group and head towards the woods. But, like, slipping away from the group, I'm going to be sneaky, but walking through the woods, I'm not. Okay. Do I need a So, roll? like, right after, hold on. So, right after you get uh, out um, <clears throat> of the wagon, you try and sneak away. Um, yes. Let me open up my character. Okay, um, go ahead and roll a sneak check. Uh, I gotta look over how what my, all my sneak bonuses are, because I have a shit ton here, give me a sec. You all do? Oh yeah, well, like, I got a, I got a plus three from training, um... I don't have any sneak bonuses. <clears throat> I think we all got plus three sneaking. No, just me and you, I think. No. Oh, okay. No, I have it. Okay, then just <clears throat> plus three then. Um, I also have forgotten, if that helps. Okay. Um, turns out, unless... <gasps> Oh no! Don't it? I would normally Great have plus fail. five, but only plus three. So can I use my everything comes from the everything comes from nature ability? You're not super close to the woods. No, no. Everything comes from nature is the uh, replace one check with my nature bonus. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, yeah, you can do that. Okay, cool. Because otherwise, it's a plus. And I, oh shit. Crit fail. No, this is the first time it's rolled below ten. That's not a crit fail. Uh, I get a grand total of ten. Okay. <laughs> I rolled their attention, not like how close attention they were paying to you guys on a D hundred. Got thirty seven, not much attention. But I rolled the against hunters uh sneak check, twenty. <laughs> I'm also uh, I'm also gonna use forgotten, so if I'm not doing anything to be noticed, I'm not noticed. But you guys are stepping out of it, you're being told where to go. Okay. Stepping away from something would be so as you start to step away, somebody walks up to you and uh one of the guards Is it, uh, oh, walks up to you. Is this one of the guards? Yeah. Darn it. And goes, where are you going? I'm going to look very tentatively at the group uh, that everyone re and be like very uh, like I'm I'm thinking about saying something. Uh, do I have any paper on me? I don't <clears throat> believe you did do. Um, how far away are we from the group? Um, you basically got, uh, you started to go around the, uh, sneak around the, uh, wagon. The group is just off to the side of the wagon, so you're at the back corner, about can they five see feet me? away. Um, about five, seven feet away, easily. Can, they can easily see me? Yeah. Okay, um, uh, okay, okay, how do I play this up? Give me a sec. Well, you see here, we need wagons. Like, if I took one step, would I be out of their sight? You could basically step to the left and be out of their sight. Okay. I'm going to take that one step and motion for the guard to very quickly come here. High or low? Mm, high. He he gives you this weird, weird look like, what the hell? He he looks around, um, sees one of his other uh, guard buddies uh, watching you guys, and then he takes a step forward. Okay, I am going to get very close and whisper... I need to see whoever's in charge. I don't know what the rest of the group's gonna say, but something went down in that warehouse that I'm not okay with. If I don't see who's in charge right now, because I don't know who else is in on it, we could all end up in the Shadow Deep if we don't hang. He, uh, steps back a moment, um, looks at you, and he goes... And I have this very, like, 
please help me out here, look on my face. Bluff chat. Uh, 16. Now, hold on, hold on. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Something did go wrong in the... Something did go weird with the warehouse. Yeah, no, no. I was already giving you um, a bonus. Okay. You, you beat my roll by one. That's why I was laughing. Okay. I would have beat your roll by one. Okay, so he believes me? Tentatively, yes. And I, I'm going to like glance in the direction of my group, and I very like like try and see if uh, see what they're doing, like very worriedly. Everybody else, what are you doing during this? Can I roll a perception check? You wouldn't have noticed a hunter. Um, his forgotten, you wouldn't have noticed him. All right then. His forgotten wouldn't help against you guys just because you weren't paying attention to him. He's already out of sight. Well, okay. Can I do perception on the actual farm itself, like? Buildings, layout, that kind of thing. Um, okay. Just gonna flat tell you, there's the big farmhouse, um, a number of smaller outbuildings, um, a couple of, the, like, tool sheds, um, All right, so a couple of big barns off to the right of where you guys are, and you're near one of them. Hold on just a second. Alright, um, well, I'm trying to find paper, so I actually have a visual. As he does that, did I say Shadow Deep? Um, I, I think so. Does it tell you about Chateau Deef? No. Okay, uh, that explains why I didn't get that much of a reaction. Chateau Deef is a, a prison off the coast of, um, Nosferata that is known for basically sending someone here and they're forgotten. No one is ever let out once they're in. They are never even let out of their cells. The doors are never open except for one day a year where the warden comes in and whips them on the anniversary of them being incarcerated. It is considered a living hell. Okay. And it is a very, very oh. scary place. No one has ever escaped. Yet. Yeah. Oh, yet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're gonna dig through the wall, climb to the ceiling, and then make a raft. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, and now on a barren, barren island about 100 feet up out of the water. It's a giant Dig nice through cliff. the wall. <laughs> yeah, dig Sorry. through the wall. It's, it's, uh, it's granite. It take, it would Are... take years to dig a few feet. All right, They so... dug through concrete, they can dig through granite. Anyway, do the description again, Logan. Okay, there's, in the center area, there's this big farmhouse. Um, there's a number of smaller buildings. Um, some you could consider probably being, uh, housing, um... Like, to the right or the left of the building? Scattered around. Like, th this is a fairly large clearing, and then you've got, um, the fields. And the fields are located where? Um, south, east and northeast and then the forest is uh <clears throat> north northwest west all right so you said southeast northeast and what else the fields are basically located south around to northeast um the right. forest is basically located from the northeast down to um west northeast down to west okay so it's like along the north yeah does it go down to west like um the road comes in from the west, like the road borders the um, um, tr forest. All right. And it actually does come out of the forest farther down, but that's not in sight. All right. Is there anything on the southwest of plantation or a farm? Um, there's a um, couple of small buildings near the uh, road. Um, one looks like it's a, a shed, but the other two look like they might be a small housing um, the barns, the two big barns are on the eastern side of the, uh, main house, and the one you guys are at is, uh, just south of the road that runs in, um, which is on the southern side, so, I mean, you've got the two big barns, then a gap, and then another barn on the opposite side of the road, which is where you guys are at. Okay. Um, yeah, but, can I do a perception check on the guards? Um, okay, they're... Go ahead and roll, I don't really... What are you trying to figure out? Why... I guess what type of person are they really attentive? Why... Um, they're... They're somewhat bored, but you can also tell that they're... Not lax in what they... Not lax in their duty. Alright, I'm done. Okay, um, let's see. You've got four guards around you guys, one off to the side, and then one of them walked around behind the wagon. Um... And also the messenger guy, you, you didn't catch his name, um, who is taking you guys to the house. Oh, we have my kitty, too. No, I thought so you, you left him here. Yeah, you left him at the barracks. No, he came back. Oh, okay. The kitty wandered up to him as yeah. the uh, uh, cart came in. Okay. Um, 
the group wanders off. The guard stays with you, Hunter, and he says, I'll take you in in a moment. The uh, other guard who is staying off to the side, he nod to him to stay. What do you guys do? We follow. I'm following. I'm going into the building where they're telling us to. Okay. Um, you guys get taken to a room with a, um, a table, and you're told to sit down. I do not sit. I'm going to sit on the table. I'm going to sit there. I'm going to sit down. Like normal person. <laughs> <laughs> I remain standing. I'm going to leave up against, lean up against the wall. The guy gives you guys a weird look, but then steps out. Okay, Hunter, yes. after they go into the building, the guard um, says, uh, follow me. I do so, and I, I'm i going to appear very nervous. Um, then... He enters the building, and he says, hold here. He nods at the other guard that was there, and he steps into a room to the right. Um, another uh, guy comes out, and he's got... He, he's very clean looking. Um, he's He looks like he's a fighter like he's well tested got a couple of like light scars but no no like major disfiguring scars like on his arms and stuff oh, okay. um the guard nods to you and he goes um that's what he told me the guy um goes we'll take you to someone in a moment but how bad is it uh, like what 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 happened we need to know if we have to be on alert right like, now I'm going to glance at the guards very uh, nervously and hope he gets what I'm trying to say. You don't have to give me details, just tell me. Do we have to be worried about an attack or anything like that? Um, at the moment, probably not, but uh, okay. uh, I'm going to say, uh, how close is he to me? Um, About four or five paces away. Oh, okay, never mind. Um, um, I'm going to look very nervous and I'm going to glance at the guards again. Actually, is there anyone else besides guards? Um, not right now. You saw some people, like, when the guards came in, go down the corridor and, like, get out of the way. Like, Yeah, I'm going to glance in that direction as well, very nervously. He goes, um, take him to the third room down, um, left side, I'll get someone. Um, and he walks away, and the two guards sort of give each other a glance like the, in almost, why the hell did this happen to us? <laughs> okay. Um... People in the room, um, need you to roll a d20. Any bonuses? 17. <clears throat> I'll check 15. the bonuses. Uh, throw, the, throw it up in the uh, chat there. Oh, Matt? Uh, 12. You hear a door across the hall slam. Like, not slam, but shut. Oh, that's, the, that's my door, correct? You can assume that okay. if you wish. Okay. Doesn't mean it's right. Oh. I get very tense. Also, you guys notice Hunter isn't there. Right. I'm going to start petting the cat. Right. So let me get this straight. Devin, you're sitting on the table, like, cross-legged or something, petting the cat. Mm -hmm. Andrea, you're leaning in the corner. Judson's sitting at the table like a normal domestic elf. And Matt, what were you doing? I'm leaning against the wall. Not in a corner, against the wall. Okay. Um, after you wait for a bit, um, a man walks in and he goes, so take me through step by step what happened. We got there. The door was locked. We unlocked, of course. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I said step by step. Details. I need to know what you did, why you did it, how you did it. We snuck over to the warehouse. Was anybody there? What was the lighting condition like? It was mainly just moonlight and a few street lights. That's it. But that's it. Very dark. Was anybody there when you arrived? There was not a single person in the building. Okay, how'd you get in? Point to Augur. He unlocked the door. How fast did you unlock it? He got pretty high on that, didn't he? Yeah, he, he. I'm just. You guys have to tell the story. Oh yeah, I'm just like. I'm just trying to remind everyone. I'm pretty sure he got like really high on that. It was pretty quick. Yeah, it was pretty quick. I asked him how quickly did you go through that lock. I'm trying to think here. You of did it fairly quickly. <laughs> I was trying to do an analogy, but it's. It was like the door was never locked in the first place. You were never locked in the first place. Okay, so what'd you do once you got in? Two of us went up to the up to the main up to like a little office area. The rest of them went and looked around the building. I found a key to a small room and manifest to all the other warehouses in the area. And they didn't find anything of value. And I I stepped on a chest and broke it and we found torches. You guys were in Warehouse 13. Nothing of interest? He, he raises a quizzical eyebrow. 
Well, other it's on than paper. what you uh, brought back for us. You have I have finished. You said we went, we found a step. small room. We found a small room was locked. I unlocked it with the key. What we found in there was a small piece of paper that was blank. Roll perception. Who? Anyone in that room? <clears throat> 18. 15. 10. Anybody with 10 or higher notices a slight grin on his face when she says blank. The paper is blank. Okay. So, just the paper in the room? Anything else? Also, I've... you said there's torches in the chest you put your foot through? How exactly yeah. did you step through a chest? I kept stepping on it. You, you, you see him sort of through. lean back like the... Is this guy an imbecile sort of lean back like the... Did he really just stomp through a chest? Then tree guy came and shit shut up my foot Damn out it. fuck the, the guy leans forward and looks around tree guy yeah tree guy who's tree guy that one tree guy the his imaginary missing. friend he's imaginary suddenly a guy a uh, a well um a clean looking guy with scars on his arm um military um very fighter like walks in and whispers into the guy's ear Gonna see if I can hear what he's saying. Roll. Eighteen. Anyone else? Sure. I got eighteen as well. Eight. Judson's completely oblivious to this. Eleven. You. Devin is also completely oblivious. He's absorbed in the cap. But you two hear the guy whisper. Um, the other uh, new recruit uh, said that something happened that he wasn't exactly comfortable with. Um, he said he doesn't know what they'll tell you, but something he wasn't comfortable with went down in that warehouse. Okay, after this guy stops talking to him, like, he's, I can tell he's done whispering, um, I'm gonna use, uh, what's it called? Give me a second. You didn't see anything? And make him forget the last ten seconds? Hmm. <laughs> Just cause I can. Do I have that? Interesting! I rolled a 15. Okay. Um, as the guy leaves, um, the guy leaves and he goes, now, oh, you said you stomped through a chest. Why did you do that? I, I told you this. There was, I, I did it because there was a chest and I wanted to see what was in it. And you found torches. Mm-hmm. We used one to burn the place down. He goes, burn the place down? You left that place standing almost, uh, basically oh. attacked. Blame tree guy. <laughs> tree guy? Yeah, tree guy. Who's tree guy? Oh, the guy that turns into the tree. And uh, his imaginary friend. I told you this. He turns him. Dimitri turns him and is like, look, he's not necessarily all roll in the head. But he sometimes sees things. Yeah, make the crazy gesture with your finger. Yeah, I do that. He's a little. He sometimes sees tree people. Devin, how does your character react to this? Well, that's the only tree. Well, not the only tree people, but I don't. I don't see tree people randomly. He kept, she puts her hand up. She puts her hand up as to like, to like hide what she's saying about Aaron to to the other guy. And like he says, yeah, he does. He doesn't remember it, but in whisper. See if I heard that. Roll. Uh, nope, I did not. I got a two. Ooh, kitty. <laughs> kitty. Okay. The cat started uh, nudging you, wanting more attention. Right in the kitty. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> you just completely broke my train of thought there. Yeah. Right. Hunter, which episode's gonna go out first? The Cards Against Humanity or this? Um, uh, Cards Against Humanity because I still gotta put up episode two of this. Got it. Right in the kitty. Yeah. Put her up. And necrophilia. <laughs> right in the kitty. <laughs> I'm okay. downloading more Skype pictures. <laughs> He's not lying. <laughs> Are you sure you're gay? Pretty sure. <laughs> okay, um... Shit, where was I? Hey, Logan. Oh, yeah, um... The guy goes, okay, so... What'd you do after you stomped in the chest? Uh, tree guy pulled my foot out of the chest, and he looked in the chest, and then he was like, hey, there's torches. I am a hundred... And I was like, ooh, torches. I can promise you this. And then we took the torches. And then I tried to step on another chest, but he made me leave. And this tree guy, um, what did he do once you guys left? He tried to burn the place down, but uh, apparently he didn't. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Moving on to someone who's actually sane. 
<laughs> basically is what he's thinking there. He turns to a uh, you Judson and goes, "So what were you doing?" I I was I was helping out Dimitri. She st- she goes around and just kind of grab grabs him before she before he can fit, say my name. Roll. <laughs> Twelve. Roll. Also, how do you react as she comes over and like starts to grab you? Gibbs slap him. Oh, hot. Uh, <laughs> hold on. It landed on the floor. Fourteen. Oh, Unless you want me to re-roll, because I'm roll, it hit the floor. In nine. Well, you shut him up just before he says your name, but the guy is looking at you guys very quizzically. What are you doing? Which should help my case greatly. That's how my character reacts. Like, oh, oh, oh. God! <laughs> I'm gonna wait. Oh, wait, I'm gonna whisper to the guard and be like, they have a thing. <laughs> um, six guards uh, step into the room and he goes, take each of these to a separate room. Do they, do they let my cat come with me? <laughs> yes. Roll for cat. <laughs> All right. I don't so. know what he might do with that cat. So I, I, I'm being. You guys have. We've done some stuff with the littlest things we've been given. So. No, we we said I can't use the cat in that kind of way. Roll for cat. But the cat <laughs> followed. Or you, you you carry the cat in. I said roll for free cat. Okay. You guys get put into your separate room. Um, you hear a door open and a number of doors shutting, Hunter. Okay. Um, mostly, uh, what would be down the hall, most of the doors were shut farther down the hall. After a little bit longer, um, a man walks into the room. I'm going to quickly glance at him. Wait, am I facing towards the door or away from the door? I assumed you were facing towards the door, you never specified. Well, I mean, if they sat me down at a table... Uh, they get to basically choose where I sit, but I'm going to be facing the... If I get to choose, I'll be facing the door. Okay, you're facing the door. I'm going to have my head down, but when he comes in, I'm going to glance up quickly to see who it is. But I'm still going to be acting nervous and jittery. You wanted someone who was in charge. Well, you've got you've got me. You're in charge? Of this particular farm. I'm going to uh, um, glance at the guard and then say... Um, can I get a glass of water, please? He goes, he nods to the door. The guard steps to the door and whispers, um, or says outside, uh, get a pitcher and a couple of cups of wa- with water. Um, I'll, I'll, I won't, um, I'll, 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 um, I'll, I'll sit there waiting until it comes. Okay. Um, soon after it comes, uh, you get given the cup of water. Um, when I'm, when it's on the table, I'm going to reach for it and accidentally knock it over. And when it does, I'm going to very quickly stand and go, oh, oh I'm so sorry. And, um, if I can use sleight of hand in the, use, like, wet one of my fingers and quickly, so the guard doesn't see, spell out the word spy with water off on the table while I'm trying to, like, clean up my mess. Um, the guard, uh... I'll use sleight of hand if necessary. The guard says, just, I'll pour you another glass. And he pours you another glass, um... But I, I do write that word so that the guy I'm talking to... But he to doesn't to... see it. Um... Uh, he... I rolled a one for him noticing that. Okay, well, I'm going to, uh, like, when the guard isn't exactly looking, I'm going to tap my hand over by the wood and glance that way. He sees it, and he glances up, and then... You hear him mutter some sort of incantation. And I, I'm very like nervous, like I'm I'm uh, like uh, like trying to get something across to him. Very, very, very trying to I'm trying to do this very nervously, but I'm trying to get this message across to him very quickly. Um, he goes, um, don't worry about the water. Um, just give him another cup and then go back to standing by the door. By the door or outside the door? By the door. By the door. Fuck. Um, once the guard goes, uh, you hear him say some other incantations and you feel a bit of pressure in the room. Like the air pressure in the room just went up a little bit. Your ears pop like, uh, you're going into a higher altitude or going from a higher altitude to a lower. Okay. Then he gets the bends. (laughs) The guy says he he can't hear what we're saying. Are you sure? Guard, you're a stupid, idiotic, and he continues on with that for a few more seconds, and there's no reaction from the guard. Okay, um, I'm going to glance at the guard and make sure, and then I'm going to look back at him and go, Fuck, I don't know what they're going to tell you, but you have at least two spies in your midst. 
He's sitting there and not exactly he lying. Seems to have yeah, it's no not a lie at all. He seems to have no reaction. Look, I'm gonna calm down a little bit, taking uh, taking a drink of my water, and I'm gonna sit it back down and be like, "Look, I've known these people for years. I don't know why they would do this, but in that warehouse, we split up to cover more ground. I, I just thought it'd be a good idea. Big wet, just big warehouse. Get as, grab as much as we can. I, I stumbled across." I, 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 I guess a clearing with a room in the middle of it, and I don't know who it was, but someone was opening the door, and when they opened it, someone reached out and handed them a piece of paper, and then they just walked off. Hunter, roll a, not a, a bluff check, I guess. Okay. And another D twenty. Um, that is a uh, twenty three, and the D twenty is a natural twenty. Okay. He goes. Walk me through step by step what happened once you got there. Once you were let out of the carriage, okay. and we, uh, uh, I'm fairly sure you're telling me the truth, but I just I need to know every single detail. The smallest detail could help us save our operation. Yeah, I, I understand. Um, when we got out, I had a, a quick conversation with uh, Abel. Um, I said something about uh, him being everywhere. I, I, uh, and then we walked. Uh, we walked, some of us snuck, I walked to the warehouse, and, uh, rich boy, uh, he, he unlocked the door, he's, he's good with locks, I don't know where he learned that, but he's good with locks, um, and when we went in, there was, uh, a stairway leading upstairs, and the big warehouse, and so, um, I told, uh, 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 Dima and, um, the, the, the nervous chick to go upstairs, um, and the three of us that were left to split up on the, on the floor, um, I, I just kind of stumbled around looking for anything that might be worth it. There, uh, there really wasn't, I mean, there was tents, rope, uh, uh, there was a box full of weapons, uh, torches, there wasn't really anything worth grabbing, and, uh, uh, and I stumbled across the, the clearing and saw that. And before I could see you who either handed the paper or got or walked off, she walked off or she and I when I went back to find everyone, everyone was together in a group and looking over the piece of paper. I don't know who could have grabbed it. But that means you have at least two spies. One from my friends and I'm gonna at that point I'm gonna say friends with like a I can't believe I'm calling them my friends and someone that was here before that knew you were going to that warehouse. Roll a d20 for me. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, natural 19, I don't know what bonuses you want. Okay. No sugar-coated bonuses. Okay. <laughs> he, uh, he, uh, says, he, uh... run it through me one more time. I want a bit more detail. Uh, okay, um, we, we, we entered the warehouse. Uh, I told, uh, I, I told those two <laughs> to walk upstairs. Saw that? I told, uh, I told... Cat boy to, to to head in one direction, rich boy to head in another, and then I went in a third direction. Um, and um, I was just kind of looking around. No one was there, um, so I wasn't necessarily being sneaky, I, I guess. But again, I didn't find anything worth value, and I just kind of stumbled around the shelves looking for anything, and I found the clearing. Uh, the person was opening the door, um, someone handed out a, a piece of paper or parchment, the figure took it and walked off, and the door closed behind them. Okay. I'm going to get, uh, four more guards here to protect you. There'll be four of them, because they're, pull they're being pulled from different shifts, none of them are part of the same group. Wait, also, wait, this wait. door will be- I, I need to go somewhere, I believe you. The wait, 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 wait. The uh, I'm gonna be very nervous, like I'm trying to think of if I should say something, and eventually I'll say it, I'll be like, look, I know these people, I've known these people for years, I don't know why they would do this, or any of them to do this, but I do know these people. I think I might have a plan. I, look, I've had like- He raises his I've eyebrow. I've had like an hour yeah. to think about this, we've all been in the same freaking wagon for like, how long was the trip? About four hours. Yeah, I've been in the same freaking wagon for four hours with these people, what else am I just gonna think about? Look, if you have spies, which you do, apparently, obviously, you have spies in your... We will all either hang or be put into the Chateau Deep and never heard from again. 
and I'm tired of sitting around and not doing anything. I'm tired of letting other people control my life. I'm tired of some dem democratic bullshit ruining everything I've worked for. Democratic? Uh, is that not how the as that's not how the domestic elves work? Some some um cities may have each city state is run independently, but they what, what's, they're all loyal to the uh, emperor. What's the one that's or, what's the city that we were at that screwed that air quote screwed us over? Um, you run. It's got its own like mayoral system, but that's a uh, sub to the. King slash emperor. Okay, so I'm gonna rephrase that and be uh, some government bullshit of some judge who thinks he's better than all of us. I am tired of this war screwing anyone who's working hard for their livelihood, and I'm tired of sitting around doing nothing. Let me do something. Let me do this. I mean, you, you dragged me in here. Let me do that much. Roll a d20. Any bonuses? I'll let you know what happens. Um, I rolled a 16, so bonuses... I, I hope I get bonuses because it's kind of... So far, so good. Sweetness. He says, I'm going to put an enchantment on this room that will stop anyone from entering until I release it. The, the door will be open. The guards will be just outside the door. They can see in, but no one can enter. Okay, okay. But, uh, I, I, I don't know what you're planning to do. I, I don't, but don't try and tip them off. Catboy, he's, he's a little mental, if you haven't already figured that one out. The, the submissive one, she's, she's submissive, but she does have her moments. The other chick, she's... Let me just say, her her, her answer to everything is a knife to the throat. Uh, and rich boy, he thinks he knows everything. Just, I really don't want this to blow up in my face, okay? You know, how you described Andrew's character made it sound like she's the most likely to be a spy. Thanks a lot! And thus <laughs> is not the spy. And but and the way you describe it, my character is not that submissive. I think that's all he knows of you, though. That's all he's seen so of you. So by pure character knowledge. Yeah, I'm doing character knowledge. That's this yeah, whole I, thing. I, 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 I know. Character knowledge, character knowledge. I know. I was letting you know. This is really thrown a loop. I'm having to purely improvise this section. So I told you off the tracks, hardcore. <laughs> beep beep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I told you I'm ending this mission tonight. <laughs> Thank you for calling Skype mm -hmm. testing service. Um, the same man enters each of your room as you guys run through the story. He, uh, um, there's a cup of water, um, he brings in, he goes, calm down, we're just making sure everybody's story... Can I get a perception same. check on the room? What? Can I get a perception check on the room? There's nothing special about the room. It's an interior room, um, a table there. Um, there's a, uh, lamp hanging up above. Um, Anything that could be used as a reflective surface. I guess while you're alone in there, you could have used the metal of the uh, lamp because it's sort of hung up to where you could unhang it if need be. Lantern, not lamp, sorry. All right. Um, and you could have used it quasi-reflective. It's not a good, clear, polished surface, though. Okay. No, your scar is not showing. Okay. <laughs> okay. But he brings water into each of your room as you guys run through the stories. He keeps asking for details. He's like, what happened? The smallest detail can help us because something went wrong and the mission got called off early. We need to know what they might know and what they might have be able to gather from what you guys did in that warehouse. And so you run through the stories. Each of you roll a d20. Oh, wait, you're not doing visual? Okay. 13. 17. I, I want to at least expedite this section. I thought about doing each individual, but I decided to not. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah. A, a lot. Okay, when I get any speech bonuses with this? Let's see. Intelligence and charisma modifiers. Okay. Oh, uh, well, yeah. shit. I didn't add that to mine either, because I have a plus no, one to intelligence. yours was uh, something different. Okay. Okay. I get a 18, not natural. It's like right. a oh, wait, intelligence and charisma? Yeah. Alright, so, uh... Alright, a 10. Wow. Uh, where is our intelligence? Oh, never mind. Intelligence. So, a 7, 11, a 10, and an 18. Uh, no. No bonuses. Okay. So, Matt is fairly unspecific. Um, the guy keeps asking for more details, but you just can't give him the details he wants, or when he asks you about a specific situation, you, you don't really come across like you really... You... you, you 
you aren't saying exactly what happened. Like, you're saying what happened, but you're not giving any specifics. Like, you, you don't remember de the details. Okay. Same happens for Devin. Now, Andrea and Judson, I need you to roll another one, just a flat 20. 17, again. 20! Okay. It seems like all of you were telling, um, he, all of you basically told the same story with varying levels of detail, basically. Yeah. There's um, enough discrepancies or stuff that it doesn't seem like a uh, scripted story. And so uh, he uh, eventually leaves. Um, he basically grills each of you for a half hour. Bear grill? Story. Two hours, Jesus. I thought it was 30 minutes that he grilled us for a bit. Yeah, no, 30 minutes each. each. of you. Yeah, and there's okay. four of you, so for two hours. Okay. He eventually comes back to you, Hunter, and he says, so... I've debriefed everyone else. They all seem to be telling the story, but in such a way that it isn't as if it's a scripted story. And it matches up with yours, except for that room in the paper. Can you go over what happened with the room in the paper one more time? Okay, um, I, uh, I, 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 I was walking, and I found this clearing, and I saw this, this, this room built in the middle of this clearing, and... The door, door was being opened by someone, but it was too dark for me to see. And someone reached out from in the room and handed them uh, a piece of paper or a parchment or something. I, uh, it's the piece of paper that we have, or that you have now. And, uh, and the figure walked off, and whoever was in the room closed the door. And I, I scudded around the clearing and followed them in that direction, and they were all there looking over the piece of paper. And so I don't know who, who had it first. But all of them were there when the paper was handed out. No, only it, at the room? Yeah. No, only one of them was there. So you didn't... Okay, hold on. Sorry, I'm trying to multitask here. So uh, you, you didn't see who grabbed the paper from the person. It was too dark to see. Okay, sorry. That's where I was, uh, wasn't was hearing you clearly because I'm trying to multitask That's this. Fine. Okay. So you didn't see who it was. Um, Was the shadow tall, short? Probably average height, um, about uh, about about my height, I guess. Um, that's basically three people. Um, but again, they all had the when when I found them all, they all were looking at the paper. So I I, I don't know who it could have been. Okay. Um, do you feel comfortable enough going back in with them for tonight? You'll be our informant within them. If you notice something wrong, you can go directly to me. Um, if you're, you have an emergency, he hands you this, um, sort of, uh, rock, but it's not, like, rock, if you understand. Yeah. You aren't exactly sure what material it's made out of, and he tells you, um, a short incantation. Okay. Um, and he demonstrates it, and the rock glows slightly, and then the glow disappears. This will let me know, um, that you've got something, or that something's happening. Okay, um, not exactly my plan, but I guess it's better than nothing. Okay. Um. Uh. I. I don't. I don't know. I. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm obviously gonna be like thinking, like trying to mull this over in my head. Okay. Uh, uh, do Do you think they all could be in on it? Who knows? That's why we need you. Okay. Um. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. I can do it. I can do it. Yeah. He uh, takes you out of the room and goes to each room that the others are in and pulls all of you out. He basically says the same thing at each room. All of your stories... Um, so we're all informants? No, no, he's no. about to tell us we're all... We're all the... I know, but you said this is the same thing. I just had to... Pick... Alright, so when he takes us out of the room... He, he says to each of you, um, thanks for being as detailed as you could. Um, we don't believe you guys did anything that could have, uh, jeopardized us. You did good, even though the, um, warehouse still stands unburnt. They reacted faster than we could have anticipated to you trying to burn it down. You all did good. You deserve a night's rest. Um, tomorrow we'll move you to a, uh, a more, uh, permanent house here on the farm. And, uh, we'll, we'll start tasking you with missions. You're desperately trying to get this train back on the tracks, aren't you? No. Okay. This is completely off script. Good. <laughs> oh, this is fun. <laughs> Alright, so when he takes us out of the room, like, okay, my room, what does the hallway look like? 
you're the third person he gets. It's just a normal hallway. It's a wooden building, so wooden thing, wooden walls. Um, yeah, there's um, some lanterns hung in the hall for some light. It's later in the evening. Right. Um, yeah. So I'm the third one down? The third so- one that they get. Um, there's still, uh, you notice, oh, there's a lot of the guards, though, still. Right. Um, then he, uh, anything else before I continue? No, I'm good. Okay. No. He, uh, turns to this, uh, younger, uh, boy, probably 13, 14 of age, and he get, goes, um, this here's the, uh, farmer's son who has, uh, graciously been letting us use his land to, uh, help in this war. Um, he'll show you to, uh, one of the newer constructed, uh, buildings we like to give each person their own privacy and um, room to stay in um do you guys are any of you opposed to staying in the same building seeing as you all knew each other i'm going to glance at him and then uh and then say no i'm i'm, I'm good, good i'm good i'm good all right so when uh, what's your character's name hunter Javine. Javine. all right so when Javine is doing this i'm going to be looking over to him and give him a wink I'm going to look very worried by this. Do the guards notice anything? Roll perception. I'm also going to stick my hand in my pocket and palm the uh, the stone. Okay, I got a ten. You don't notice that the guards noticed anything. <laughs> no deception. <laughs> no deception. Alright, um, okay. Continue. Okay, so, um... The boy uh, takes you to the rooms. He's uh, semi-aloof. He doesn't really want to talk to you guys. He uh, takes you to the uh, um, building. It's um, northeastern side of the farm, uh, near the forest edge, actually. Um, and he goes, this is our uh, newest constructed building. Um, he takes you in. Um, it's got sort of a uh, fire pit area. Um Stove that it's fire pit stove can use for that. Um, it's got um, six beds. Please stop. Sorry. Thank you. Um, it's got a uh, couple of dressers, and he points over to the side and says, um, "There's a uh, armory rack for you guys if you wish to use it. Um, it's sort of built into the wall, um, but it's um, y- you can't exactly see how it's joined to the wall, but it's a uh, metal joined into the wood." And when he opens it, it doesn't seem like it moves or anything. Okay. Um, he says, uh, there are some small children uh, who do roam around on this farm, and we do like to uh, keep any dangerous weapons or stuff at least out of their easy access. Some of them have been known to uh, sneak into the rooms. If you find them, please let someone know they will be punished. Oh, um, okay, so real quick, my character, he's going to be kind of paying attention, but then all of a sudden he has, like, this revelation. Point at Hunter's character, and he's like, Tree Guy! I'm going to look at him very confused and slightly worried and possibly afraid. <laughs> <laughs> the the boy uh, just looks at Devin, and gives him a what-the-hell look, and <laughs> uh, goes back to just showing you around the uh, room. Uh, uh, and at this, I'm going to do the uh, crazy symbol with my hand, uh, and then kind of move, take a step away from Aaron. Um, over the next couple minutes, he basically explains everything, and you sort of feel like he's trying to rush through this. He doesn't want to be here. And then he, uh, rushes off. Oh, Logan? Yes? Um, just the thing. At any point, if someone comes up and is trying to interact with the cat, let me know. Okay. Yeah. Also, um, on the table, there was some food um, mm. there for you guys. You haven't eaten in a while. I might. Um, I'll, eat, I'll eat some and then give the rest anything. of my kitty. Okay, because you guys uh, hadn't eaten since uh, before you went out <laughs> on your mission the night before. I'm trying to keep this uh, stuff in mind because some of you have the... Uh, um, Survive a thing. little. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm okay. going to lay down, but I'm not going to fall asleep, and I'm going to have the uh, the stone in my hand. Okay. I don't go to sleep at all. Okay. Anything, I'm just wandering around the building. Also, uh, who who eats? I, I eat. have a little, but I'll not eat. much. I'll eat a bit. Okay. I'll eat, like, half of my food and then give the rest to the cat. Okay. Food well, it's just a basket of eat. some bread and some fruit. I've taken apple. Okay. What kind of fruit? Apples. Just apples? One pear. 
two pears. What color are they? Do there? not let me eat pears. I hate pears. Wait, was there I any don't meat? I want to wake up in three months and taste pears. No. Um, Wait, just, red apple. I would just place just it red. like right next Straight. to the screen and run off. I will slap you. <laughs> My headset is freaking out. As um, um, I didn't hear anything if you answered. No, there's no meat. Oh, As... dang it! My kitty didn't eat anything. Um, I'm gonna go up to someone and be like, "My kitty needs food." There's no one there. You guys are in your uh, house. Oh, well, I'm gonna walk outside and try and find a guard or something. You see some people returning from working in the fields. I'm gonna run up to him and like grab one. Just be like, "Kitty needs food." The guy sort of backs off. You surprise him. He is talking with his friends, and he he uh slings you away from him. He goes, "What the? Um, what are you going food. on about?" I pick up my cat. And cat looks like meowing because it's hungry. I am. Do I, is there a window in my room? Um, there is a window that you can see this if you looked out the window. Um, I'm gonna look out the window. Do I see Twinkle Toes or that woman? Twinkle Toes. Twinkle Toes. No. Okay. <laughs> Do they sparkle and glow? <laughs> <laughs> I mean. Okay. What time is it? Like, and well, it's like... is it like? Is it dark outside? evening like basically it's about to get dark okay so since no one's giving my cat any food i'm gonna walk off into the forest try and find stuff okay um let's see so everybody ate something besides hunter yep after it's dark um probably about 11 p.m all of you start to feel woozy hunter at about eight you start feeling woozy hell i didn't eat so you feel woozy at eight too, I guess. Nope. I I did ask if everyone ate. Matt, did you specify you didn't? Yes, I did not. Okay. So I'm feeling woozy at eight, about eight, uh, when you're laying tired. on your bed, tired, not all there. Man. Can I make an arcana check to see if this is, or a nature check to see if that's, uh, oh no, no, I didn't. So can I make an arcana check to see if this is magical based or if it's uh, just because I haven't eaten? You did drink. <laughs> oh, the water. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. It's so, like Ebola. So can I roll a nature check to see if I'm poisoned? Roll. Uh, that is a 16. Y you know you've drank something and, like, something's in your system. You don't feel like it's hurting you, per se, but you feel like you're so starting to slip unconscious and like slowly losing control um give me a sec is there anywhere in the room is like is there an under the bed wait no does the window open no it does not is there an under the bed yes okay so i'm going to get up even if i'm very tired and i will uh i will throw the blanket so that it's like it's covering the window <laughs> so the room is dark um, As you go to get up, you uh, your legs wobble and you sort of sit back down on the uh, bed. Damn it. Okay, fine. 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 If you're going to do like that, <laughs> I will cast Form of a Raven, become a raven, flop down onto the ground, and kind of like like squish myself up under the, the bedside table so no one can see me. Hold on. Wow, I spelled that bad. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay, you, you, you go under the bed. No, no, I go under the uh, the uh, the bedside table, uh, bedside uh, like nightstand, because I know they'll check under the bed to look for me. So I'm going okay. to hide under the nightstand so that no one will check there because I'm in such a small space. No one fit in there. How are you? Um, as because I am now in a different form, am I immune to the poison? No. Hold no. on, I gotta look that up. I gotta see if ravens are, uh, uh, immune to certain poisons. But continue. Um, Matt, what are you doing, like, once you get to the house? Uh, once I get to the house, I'm just... Is there any paper or stuff like that? No. Alright, um, I'm just gonna lay down, or, like, Sit against the wall and kind of twiddle with my fingers. Okay. So as the hours go by, do you do anything? Um, I walk around a little bit. Okay. Um, pretty, about 11 p.m., skipping back forward in time, um, a number of people in, um, you can see through the window a number of people are surrounding the house and uh, the door gets knocked on. You see the people out the window, but you can't see, like, who they are. It's, like, 11 at night. 
Is it just Matt or is this everyone yeah. who's... Everyone else is already dropped at, uh, unconscious. Sorry, so... Evan, you're out in the forest all alone. <laughs> hey, can so... we take a break right here? Oh, oh, with oh me. wait a minute. It has been some time. I said you'd get some slight tolerance. You're basically going to be coming around. I'll let you know when you're starting to come to. Okay. Because you were the first one poisoned two hours ahead of everyone else. Yeah. Tolerance taking place. You've had eight to three hours. Smaller body, though. But transformation, I'm not going to do anything with that. Okay. Well, it's a smaller body, but it still has the same amount of the poison. That's why I just said I'm okay. not doing anything with that. Oh. I'm not going to try and go, well, it's a smaller body. You've got the same amount of poison, so thus it's more concentrated and going to affect you longer. I'm not going to do that. He's being nice. Yeah, thank nice. you. Nice. You look nice, my headset was freaking out again. <laughs> and you know, this is pretty much pointless. Oh, hell. <laughs> you did all that research for nothing. I, I was still curious because this may come up later. We are dealing with poisons. Yeah, and I mean, it, it, they are pretty interesting animals. I just wish they had more abilities I could pick, uh, use from, but it was, a shot. it was a shot in the dark. I tried. As you come to, Commander Lila is standing above you. So like, my... in the room. Devin, I'm sorry, you're out in the forest. You've got another couple of hours to go before you even start to come to. Hunter's tolerance, I'm giving him that he's coming to basically after the room. Okay. All of them are in the room. Okay, but uh, give me a little bit and we'll start on a mark so that Hunter can start the recording. Um, so, uh, so I wake up in the room with Lila standing over me. Basically. Okay, I'm going to wake up. There, there are other people, and a number of them are uh, people you'd recognize from the barracks. Okay. She's like, nigga, you failed. Nigga! Um, I'm going I'm to going look at her, up at her, um, and then... Does she know that I'm awake? No, no, I was... Hold on, is the recording still going? Yeah, yeah, the recording's going. Okay. Is everybody here? Because we didn't check that. Matt? What? Okay, yeah. so we're all here. Okay, I just yes. wanted to make sure we were all here before we, like, really continued. Okay, she's standing above you and going, just shaking her head, and then she looks over at Andrea and really shakes her head. My pretty. Did she find me? Um, no, you're still out in the woods. Oh. I'm going to sigh very heavily and go, well, there goes that fucking plan. Thanks a lot. My pretty. We're give good her, at this game. Give the others a few more hours until they wake up. Um... Interesting task, um, interesting way of uh, going about your mission, trying to throw everyone else in your squad under the bus. No, but, the, hey, the plan if you was... been able to complete the mission, good. The, the plan, um, yes, the plan was to get on. a hold of the guy who was in charge. I'm actually interrupting her. The plan was to get the guy that was in charge, be friends with him, get him alone in the room with the last of the six of us, or at least a few guards, and then immediately disable everyone in the room, round them all up, and drag them back to Central. I was going to do that today, but thanks a lot. <sighs> Something's come up and your test has been cut short. Oh, dang it. What'd well, you do, honey? Well, I was trying to do it <laughs> fast anyway, but apparently a single 24-hour span is not fast enough for your freaking people. And I'm going to attempt to get up. She just turns away, and as she walks away, she goes, He thinks 24 hours? You did it in 14, she says to someone else. But you don't quite notice who she said she did it. they did it in 14 to me. You said it to me. <laughs> you wish. I walked in, well, shot him in the forehead, in and walked 20, out. We did it in less than 24 hours. It hasn't even been a full day yet. Technically, from mission being given, you're on your uh, second day. Oh, okay. This would actually be almost into the third day, because it's <laughs> getting, like, basically it's around 11 o'clock at night right now. I, would, I will then say, well, it took eight hours to get here and back twice. So that's half, that's more than half a day right there. So don't even give me that, that goblin piss. Logan, I, I walk in, shoot him in the forehead, walk out. <laughs> <laughs> Except you're still passed out in the forest. Yeah. Reset. Oh, wait, so what's going on now? Logan, okay. Reset. Yo, hold on. Am I gonna, I'm going to stand up. Where am I in this Oh, room? shit. I forgot Matt was awake. Yeah, I'm awake. <laughs> where, <laughs> where, where am I? Uh, like, really? I'm going to wake up in this room. What's in this gotta, room? Uh, what? Wake I'm, up. You're basically where you were, but, like, you're back to human size. Um, you feel as if most incant any incantation or magic in the room has been really dispelled. Okay. Well, if that's the truth, I'm going to walk over to the, the chair. If there, There's a chair, correct? 
Yeah, you're okay. you're somewhat stable now. You okay. can actually. I'm walk going to go over stable. the chair, pick up the chair, and throw it against the wall, splintering it into pieces. You throw it, but not in a forced really splinter. I, I will add my strength bonus. Roll a d hundred. Oh d shit! I wish you said d twenty because I rolled a natural nineteen. And then roll a d twenty. I'm gonna take I, that natural nineteen. Okay. And I rolled a ninety four. Ninety four. <laughs> we can't roll the same. Twenty one. I was seeing how close you got, and if I, you got, I will use my luck ability ranger. to make myself closer. No, no. You know what? I will use a DM re-roll. You're within range. It splinters. And I'm going to be fuming. I'm just going to look at her and storm the fuck out. You some you hear somebody mutter, you know, she could have broke it to him better. Now, rewinding to Matt. So, the door gets knocked on. What do you do? Uh, Die. I'm going to go up to the door. And I'm going to open it. Okay, Lieutenant Lila is standing there and she goes, So the only one who didn't eat the food I see? Yes, bread is commoners. She snickers and then tosses you a, a, a piece of bread and goes, Well, you're a common soldier right now. Meh. Okay, there's that segment. Back to where we were before. Back to the future! Okay, I am storming the fuck out. Oh, wait, is it possible to grab my cloak first? No. You've stormed out. Yeah, no, like, like I'm storming out. Do they have my shit in the room with me at that exact moment? Your shit is where you left it when you... Came in there. No, I mean like my my cloak, my uh my my cloak of uh of uh, Evan leaves. Oh, um, any. Th I'm trying to remember. What did I say I did to that? Uh, it's left at the barracks. Okay. Um, that is not in the room. Okay, I will storm the fuck out, all the way out of the building, and head towards woods, fuming tire away. Fine, Devin. Oh. That'll be have to be a luck roll for me to stumble over him. You stuck on his head. Devin, roll luck. Oh, for him. Okay. Three hundred. Is get... he lucky enough for you to come and find him? Yeah, I have to. You have to roll under your luck. You should have good luck. I think we all have good luck. And my, and my runs in the family. family. Yeah, we all have runs in the family, and Demes goes on that to be luck. <laughs> oh, there it is. Well, now they are. Well, yeah. Now yeah, now I rolled under my luck. Okay. Forty-one. Hunter. Um. Let's see. Hunter steps on your hand and then realizes he stepped on something. How far am I into the woods? A decent ways. Uh, I will uh, do a military carry and bring him back to the edge of the woods. What do you do once you get to the edge of the woods? I drop him on the ground like a sack of potatoes. Roll perception. Uh, 17. Nope. Okay, go go do whatever you want to do. Well, I could have my plus five bonus. Nope. Damn. Nope. So I am going to walk back over to do my. Okay. Eventually, um, each of you comes to Devin. You find yourself having been thrown back into the house you were in, Lieutenant Lila. Is the and... cat with me? The cat has wandered off. You aren't exactly sure where it's at. I'm gonna start freaking out. But you, you can recognize people that were at the barracks, and as each of you comes to, she basically says, something's come up, your test has been cut short. <clears throat> How about me? You're being Actually, drafted in, in no matter what at this um, point. Let me, let me rephrase that. I'm not just freaking out. Like, I have my bow out, and I'm threatening to shoot people. You don't just have your bow. God dang it! Where's my bow? Over there. Your bow is sitting in the, um, yeah. the, um, no. No. The armory locker thing. It's sitting wide open. Yeah, I'm going to get my both. bow. A um, couple of the people from the uh, guard uh, stop you. They realize how badly you're flipping out. Yeah, I'm going to punch one of them. <laughs> Roll. Oh. Oh. character. 17. You punch him in the face. Roll your damage. Got this D2. <laughs> one. Tons of damage. <laughs> Let's oh, just say damage. that guard and the guards around you don't like what you just did. I don't like what they just did. I like that. <laughs> oh, God. Well, that is how he would react. You get a needle in your side. Can I punch someone else? Hold on. I've got to check something real fast. <sighs> take the needle out of my side and stab a dude in the temple <laughs> with it. You with take two points of damage. <clears throat> okay. I need you to roll a d10. Uh, and or not d10, d20. Oh. 15. What's your bonus, Will? Plus 3. Okay. So 18. You get another needle in your side. 
please remember that this is each of the guard taking their turn, throwing a needle in you. <clears throat> Another two points of damage. Okay. Roll your will save. Man, this must be fun. A 20. Well, that one doesn't hit. <clears throat> Hunt no, Hunter's not here. Hunter's here. <laughs> roll your will save. What? <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> Devin. I would have got a three if I rolled. You take another two points of damage. Okay. Roll your will save. Everyone takes damage today. Another 20. <laughs> He's going to look like a porcupine when this is done. <laughs> I'm just hoping that this doesn't kill him. Because all of them reacted when he punched and threw a uh, needle dipped in a poison. Uh, the A stronger version of the paralysis poison you guys have. <laughs> Another two points of damage. We'll save. Let's see, 16 plus, so 19. Another two points of damage. We'll save? Yep. Uh, 18. And then the guy you punch flat out punches you in your face. And two points of damage. So, total, how close well, to dead is he? I still have 19. <clears throat> okay, do I have any weapons on me? No. Oh, they took all of them. All of you are stripped of your weapons while oh, you get knocked out. Okay, so the guy I punched first, I'm going to cast Marked for Death on him. Does that do <laughs> hey. Uh, damage from any source, uh, any source deals an additional damage. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, can I still, oh, I have to cast that. Just like in the bubble. 19. You, hold, give me a moment. Okay. I'm just going to say marked for death cast, but it's not a, um, that would be your turn. Okay. You don't have dual casting. I'm thinking he would have been better as a berserker. He would have. <laughs> Where's my cat, <laughs> beast? <laughs> Devin? Okay, yeah. How much yeah. life do you have left? 19. Good luck. <laughs> Miss? Okay. Two points of damage. Make a will save. Uh, 14. Nope. Oh! So I pass but out. it doesn't take it to uh, into effect yet. <clears throat> it does take a poison a bit of time to go into effect. Whiff. Whiff. You guys are trained! Whiff. <laughs> The guy who you punched full body tackles you. I ended up going through all the other guards and they all whiff. Wow. <laughs> That's supposed to be trained military forces. Jesus. That's, hey, can I do? I just said that. You can I do an agility check? Tackled. Roll. Um. OP. That's it's not a hit, so that doesn't count. Mm -hmm. What'd you roll? Uh, four. <laughs> this guy has a nat twenty plus some other bonus. Oh. Oh yeah, no. You're flat. That, yeah, that's a thirty plus, man. Don't don't even bother. Um, Devin, yeah. make a health check. Oh, that's a 14. Okay. Oh, I forgot. Bleed. Oh. <laughs> I'm happy I forgot that. Oh. I just looked at the throwing needle, and I was like, oh, yeah, it got bleed. I, I don't, did, did I? No, I'm about yeah, to level up off of doing this. 10% to bleed one. <laughs> I'm about to level up off of doing this. <laughs> Level, man, level. Oh. Devin, you managed to remain conscious as you got full body slammed into the <clears throat> ground. Okay, so all of these needles are still sticking in my side, right? But you are pinned down, like he is holding you down. Okay. You'd have so... to make a strength test to break out. I'm going to do a strength test. Okay, roll. 15. I am so glad he's got strength bonuses. <laughs> roll the 15, too. Can I use luck bonuses? Hmm. <laughs> Roll D hundred real fast for me. <sighs> Let me find that again. There we go. Uh, that's a two. <laughs> like zero zero two. Yeah. No, you used all your luck up with Hunter finding you before the wolves did. <clears throat> I didn't have a choice in that. You made me. Oh, that was where your luck was used <laughs> up. Nice two. Thank you. <laughs> At least it wasn't a one. That's true. If he'd rolled zero, 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 he would have just smashed his way right out. I would have been like, you just rolled the hundred. You, 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 Wait, for luck? Yeah. You like, want low for luck. You want to be <clears throat> under your luck uh, score. I was way under my luck score. Yeah. Oh, man. Fine, then. I'll... You, you <clears throat> gain enough bonus to break his grip. I know you're sitting there watching all this. He slams you back into the ground. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Ah, Devin, you're getting slammed. Can I do another strength test? Or are they throwing needles at me still? 
You should be paralyzed at this point. <laughs> nah. <laughs> it's only been a couple of seconds. <laughs> and oh, three more people jump on top. And oh, before oh. Devin's next turn, the paralysis takes effect. <laughs> One XP away. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of it. Get out of paralysis. <laughs> but you hear a meow. A random cat from on the farm is uh, <laughs> sitting at in the doorway. Well, my character can't do anything. He's paralyzed. You're not going to like... Okay. Um, Andrea? Yes? Lila takes you aside. Okay. As much as this was a disaster, she glances at Devin. Um, you weren't um, given the time to fully finish your task, so you and your entire squad are being pulled in and... As is. None of you will be gaining a promotion from this, nor anybody. She again glances at Devin, being punished for any failures here. Understandable. I expect you I expect you to redeem yourself in future missions you're given, because this really didn't look good on me, and if it doesn't look good on me, it looks really bad on you. Oh god, if she just even says anything to Jovine, he's he's gonna lose it. He is gonna flip shit. A, just a little smirk comes across her face. Oh, uh, across Dimitri's face. You know as well as I do, I don't give a shit. You may not give a shit, but... Some people who have some information on an acquaintance of yours do. Oh man. Oh man. Shit just got real. Like all oh, she her <laughs> the emotion leaves her face. So weird. Just do not if you're going to protect and no, she doesn't even say anything, she walks away. Before you walk away, she walks away. <laughs> <laughs> oh! It went there. She just throws over her shoulder, dismissed. Get it right this the is cat. housing. Right in the cat. Right in the kitty. Right in the kitty. <laughs> hey, so I get this right in the you kitty. You didn't hear any of that. That was Andrea yeah, just pulled aside. Right in the kitty. <laughs> <laughs> pulled aside in the kitty. <laughs> A I goo. 101 in military. You don't choose someone out right in front of everyone else. Unless, of course, they oh. did something right then and there that you have to chew them out. Yeah, no, Javine that. doesn't give a shit. He will cough, cough fucking... me. Oops. Oh, no, man. She better not try and talk to him, because he is miffed. Miffed. <laughs> Miff, whiff. <laughs> whiffed. There's the wrench I could throw in. <laughs> oh, I dare you. Do it. You whiffed Fucking it. Fucking do it. Go ahead. I'm ready for Do it, it. mate. Bring it on. Bite me. Bring it in. I can't. be one ah. right now. Let's Devin go. suddenly becomes multi-classed as a berserker. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. I'm joking. Leaving. I'm joking. Bye. I quit. <laughs> Here's my one day notice. <laughs> okay, so Hunter stormed off in the woods. Devin's been paralyzed. Match just sitting there going, I'm staying out of this fighting because I'm a rich kid. Man. Judson's just now waking up. To Ash and Dust. So I'm fighting. And Andrea is pissed that Lila has uh, knows somebody who knows somebody who has information. Knows somebody. About somebody. She knows somebody who knows somebody. Who's got information on somebody? Yes. Yeah. Sure. And it hasn't been shared. Oh, man. Oh, okay. What well, do you I guys did, do? I, Hunter, do you ever go back to the house? Nah, I'm still in the woods. I'm, I climbed up a big ass tree and I'm sitting there, pissed. Okay, what Someone do you guys do who are in the house? Unless they come and get you, nobody's going for you. Well, I'm paralyzed. Matt, what do you do? Where am I during all this? Like, I'm still in the freaking house. Yeah. And there's fighting going on outside? No, the whole thing with Devin. I, I'm sorry, I was like half paying attention. What the hell happened to Devin? Devin went all berserk. Yeah. He got put down hard. So no one is coming to find me at all. Not Twinkle Toes, not the chick, not any of my unit. Wait, not Twinkle Lila. Toes? But, um, let's see here. I can kill Devin or find the bastard. Twinkle Toes. Well, I can just stay there because I don't want. If your character comes and finds me, it's not going to look pretty. Why? Because my character hates yours. Root. Well then. Right, um, so... I'm sorry. I'm just playing my character, okay? Yeah, He's a very go. angry person. Uh, Ten angel. Fifteen All right, so, kills. So, so Devin is paralyzed, right? Yeah. Devin is paralyzed. Where's the cat? In the so, door. There's well, a new cat. A new cat is sitting at the door. A new cat has arrived. What do you do? Rule for cat. <laughs> I guess I'll go 
attempt to kill Kevin. What? Why are you trying what? to kill me? What? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> what? Did I miss something? Apparently. <laughs> so. He's going to go kill Andrea? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You watching him? Matt, yeah. go ahead. Alright, I'm going to take... I have my rape here on, right? No. All of your equipment was taken and thrown into the, um, locker. At uh, the front. The armory locker thing. Sitting there. Also, the, uh, magic stuff that I talked about has been removed. Alright, I guess I'm going to go over to the... What's around me? That's a good question. What's around me? Beds. Oh, while they're doing this, I'm going to go up to the thing and grab my stuff. Well, I, I mean, I, I guess I'm going to go get my rape here. You find a note in there, Andrea, that says, well, what you left at the barracks will be arriving in the morning. Okay. Okay, apparently not. Um... <laughs> Why are you trying to kill me? Why am I trying to kill you? Wait, what else is there? I, I guess I could go try to find Hunter, and then he tries to kill me. Or you could just end up standing there and let someone else do it. Don't you. Either way, it's not going to look pretty. Oh. <laughs> Matt's pretty. character, it's never gonna look pretty. I, I always look pretty. So. Yeah. I, I guess I'll just walk up to him, look at it. Angie, Silver, Dimitri. Matt, you're kinda low. Yeah, Matt, get close to your mic, man. Alright, is this better? Yes. Alright, is Dimitri within the facility? Andrea, facility. you didn't leave the house, did you? No, it's not a house. It's an right. open room house. Like, there's obviously different areas, but there it's not walled off. There's a couple of columns that support the ceiling, but it's an open room. All right, so I'm going to drag Devin to the corner. We can still see him, right? Mm-hmm. And, and I'm going to drag him and rest him on his head in the corner and just leave him there. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> that looks familiar. And then sit on the bed. Okay, after a minute, I'm going to go walk over to the corner and set Devin back properly. <laughs> Mike is going to go back to go to Devin's character and set him properly sitting down against the wall, not on his head. Do I have to roll for that? Nope. I also get a blanket and cover him up. Yeah, I'm not trying to sleep. Well, what if you fall asleep? I think it'll be kind of hard with the... Uh, I lost count of how many needles they threw in you. Sick. It looks like a porcupine. Yeah. Kind of hard with six needles sticking in him. Oh, well, just in case. You know, you could take the needles out of my side. Sure, I, could do I, I totally forgot you had needles sticking your side until they reminded me, actually. So, um, I'm gonna do that. Do I have to roll for anything? Bleeding. Nope. I have combat medicine. Oh, wait. I'm paralyzed. <laughs> I have combat medicine. Reread combat medicine. I know. I don't have combat medicine. Neither do they I. can only heal to a certain health. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gay. You said you're gay? So, anything else happen? I'm just making sure you guys do your stuff. Yeah, no, I'm sitting in a tree, fuming, pissed off. I'm wall. paralyzed. I decided to go outside. You're and fuming? To... Your character's a stoner? By the way, this <laughs> is like mm, past midnight now. I'm going to go oh. outside and attempt to climb on top of the roof just so I can just look out at the, st at the surrounding area. <laughs> I've actually saved that one. <laughs> You're paralyzed. What would you do? Be paralyzed? <laughs> I mean... He just wants one XP. Wiggle a little bit. <laughs> Roll to wiggle. It's like <laughs> wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. It's like Matt. Wow, wow, wow. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Also, uh, forgot to mention. Um, there's a basket of non-poisoned food now sitting on the table with okay. some um slices of meat. Does it say non-poisoned food over it like a big size thing? Not <laughs> sitting poison. on top of it. No, this non is not poisoned. Trust us. The note says, <laughs> "Not the poisoned food you are looking for." We're looking for really? poisoned food. Really? No, I just I couldn't resist. No, it uh, actually says, "Um, have a nice meal after the uh." One that didn't agree with you earlier. I don't eat this time around. <laughs> my character. I'm on the roof. My character will eat again. Just like, what is there this time? Same thing? Apples and bread? <laughs> and some cheese and some meat. Cheese! I'll make myself a sandwich. <laughs> okay. Lots of... <laughs> you pass out fi about five minutes later. Lots of meat and cheese. Justin likes that meat with the cheese coming out of it. <laughs> they look same, basically. <laughs> Okay. In between oh, some buns. Else? In between some buns. Anything interesting? My anaconda <laughs> don't. My anaconda so, don't. Time rolls around. Sun comes up in the morning. 
What do you guys do? Is uh, Devin not paralyzed? Lay there anymore? paralyzed. Devin's no longer paralyzed. <laughs> At some point in the night, he fell asleep in his corner. <laughs> with the blanket. Is the See kitty snuggling playing with me? Yes, and oh wait, Gosh. your friend is returned. Oh, I have two <laughs> kitties now! <laughs> oh. Cat. <laughs> kitty. Right in the kitty. <clears throat> Anybody do anything? Come on now. Again, um, I'm sitting in the woods. I go back. I get down off the roof and go and check up on the rest of the guys. I'm gonna go outside and make some arrows. Hunter is not there. Devin's outside making arrows. Everybody else is inside. You say hi, Andrea. Let's see how many arrows I can what? make. I'm, I'm Andrea's a... character said check on everyone. Oh, I'm gonna. I still... made nine arrows. I'm gonna still be laying like in bed when Andrew's character comes by, like lazy. Then change all those arrows into barbed arrows. <laughs> okay. You, okay, Jensen. And uh, okay, Devin. Nice barbed arrows you've got. Do I get any? Do I get any, any uh, XP for that? Nope. Um, I'm gonna shoot a tree with an arrow. <laughs> shot a tree with an arrow. <laughs> You're, not get, you're not gonna get any crap. Don't even try. Just let it happen. The tree, the tree suddenly gets up and beats you so close. <laughs> you have awakened the anger. <laughs> how, how big is how big is the tree? How, how big is the tree? It's about a forty-five foot tall tree. Okay, what what color is the tree? Oh my gosh! <laughs> what color? <laughs> Uh, it's a tree, can, Devin. Can I sense if the tree is good? <laughs> Devin, it's a tree. It's not good. It's a gazebo. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot the, the tree with an arrow. What, what does it do? Nothing. It's a tree, Devin. <laughs> okay. Stop uh, this madness, please. <laughs> We all know the joke. <laughs> Devin, you have like the evil tree spirit. It comes and eats you. <laughs> you are dead. <laughs> what do? <laughs> I show up as a. I'm gonna figure it. Uh. Stop shooting my trees. <laughs> okay, but I'm what? gonna shoot Hunter. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't actually go up. <laughs> Going back, Devin, you shot a tree. Zero XP. <laughs> Okay, and you said hold on for me about for some reason. Hold on to me. You were like, no, you're like, you're like that. You're like. Okay, so who's going to be brave enough to go get uh Draveen? I say I say you either let Twinkle Toes or that one chick do it. Who's Twinkle Toes? The dude I fought. The monk. The monk? Well, he was a monk. More than a monk, but yes. Oh shit! Okay, yeah, but no, him, Twinkle Toes, because he did a freaking backflip and he's getting huge. So okay. I call him Twinkle Toes or the chick, which we never got a name for her. No, you didn't. I'll go get Ravine. By the way, they don't care about you right now. They, if anybody had bothered to ask for a perception, they would notice that there's a lot of activity at the farm. Doesn't seem like anybody's really paying you guys much attention. Nope, I'm staying in the woods. I'm gonna go and look and see what's going on. I'm gonna go in the woods. <laughs> you still gotta find me. What do you do, Andrea, to find out what's going on? Just wander around, try to get a, you know, maybe ask some people what's going on. Um, most of them just brush you off and say, G go get your orders, I've got my own. Need to get this done fast. They didn't give us any orders. Chick just walked out. Order. Oh. <laughs> Can I shoot something to get one XP? No, don't even ask. We're like, he'll, no, he'll not give you one XP at all. You can shoot Hunter for one XP. You okay, I'm gonna go first. look for Hunter. <laughs> Good luck. Devin? <laughs> I believe it. Yes. Hunter gets a plus 20 in all attacks against you. Okay, <laughs> and I have forgotten, so you can't even find me. Uh, I have forgot who, so I can find the forgotten. <laughs> I forgot how it was. I'll make you forget that I, for I found you. I'm gonna forget uh -huh. that I forget that. He can make you forget Question that mark. Forgot. Question what? mark. <laughs> okay. Alright, so. so like, it's, a, it's morning, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay, um. So, Andrea, you're off talking to people. Matt's at the house. Devin's in Judson. No, Matt wandered off. I'm still, like, in bed. Yeah, I'm going to go try to find, uh... Devin and Judson are still at the house. Yeah. Okay. What do you all do? All right, uh, I'm going to try to see if I can find any hunter tracks. <laughs> Roll. <laughs> did you take tracking? Yeah, I did. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I have a massive bonus to stealth. Come at me, bro. <laughs> I rolled a uh, 18 plus 2 
Okay. You find some tracks and you identify them as a humanoid. You're fairly sure that these are the ones that were leading from, that came out of the house. They were actually mine from when I went out to hunt. And so, Andrea, you're still out trying to figure out what's going on, right? Yep. Okay. (sighs) (laughs) So, you find some tracks that were leading from the house. What do you do? And I follow them. Okay. Do a tracking check. Um, I want to make an opposed stealth plus nature check. Um, he's tracking the track you've left behind. Yeah, no, I'm I'm being sneaky while I'm doing shit in the woods. I don't want people to find me. That based. Okay, you keep looking for track. You find some more. Uh, they appear to be the same set of tracks. All right. You stumble upon a troll. <laughs> <laughs> I use forever alone. <laughs> anyway. Uh. All right. <laughs> oh. What? I have to figure out what this will do. Oh, crap. That's not good. No, it, it could be good. It, it is good. Oh, wait. Well, from hmm. whose perspective is it good? Your guys' is. Um, keep going, Matt. Uh, I'm still going to try to find Hunter. Roll. You've got to keep tracking. Just because uh, you find one set of tracks doesn't mean that... You could easily lose them. 19. Okay, you keep following the track. 18. Okay. 20. Okay. Do I still need more? Yeah. Fuck. 16. Plus 2. Okay. 19. 19 natural or 19 with the bonuses? Okay. Matt, roll a d20. This is not tracking. Perception. Uh, 18. Oh, shit. That's awesome. You see a vine creeping across the ground towards you. <laughs> oh, man. What? Uh, I see a vine, right? <laughs> it's growing towards you. It's I've seen enough the hentai to know where this is going. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, we've also played uh, Tainted Champions, so... Corruption uh, Champions. Uh, Trials and Tainted So I noticed that there's Get a vine right. growing towards me. Yes. From which direction? Your uh, back right side. Do I see him at this point? Yes. Oh, I do. Sweetness. <laughs> Alright, so... Do I see the vine? Roll of perception. Okay. Uh, that is an 18. You see the vine. Okay, cool. Uh, can I use my nature plus intelligence bonus to see if I know what this could be? Because player knowledge, this could be a few things, none of which are good. Yes. Uh, that is, uh, oh shit, okay, uh, uh, that is 14, that is, uh, 25. I'll send you a list of the things that I think it might be. Um, okay. Alright, so I do notice it. Yeah. No. If I knew what it was, I would try to do a history check on it, but I don't know what it is. It's something to deal with nature, not history. history. But it's a mythology. Mythological. No, this is something that your character wouldn't know about. Okay. After growing up in a city, it's not something you would know or understand about. All right, so I'm gonna start backing away from, like, going away from it. Do I see if there's more than just one vine? Right now, you can only see a single vine. Okay. Um, how far away is he from me? <laughs> He's about, um, 30 feet. What's, what's so funny? Something definitely. Yeah. Um, could I get to him very quickly? Um, a sprint, you'd get there fairly quickly. <laughs> okay. I'm, Matt, you are lucky because I'm about to save your ass. <clears throat> I am going to sprint towards, uh, Augre. Okay. And I'm going to grab him and move him away from the vine as fast as possible. Okay. Okay. Which which one of them is laughing? That's that's just. (laughs) Okay, I have to know what this is. What are you two laughing about? <laughs> Please send it. I want to know what this is. <laughs> it's just me and Dudson talking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure I want to know. <laughs> uh, okay, then. Um, uh, okay, then. Um, yeah, I am going to... Knowing what this could possibly be, I am going to rush him... Devin, make a towards perception the direction check. of the fall. Hunter, make a dir- uh, per- um, perception check. Right, Devin. Uh, natural twenty. Not Devin, sorry, Matt. 
<laughs> Logan, you said three people right there. <laughs> okay, Matt and Hunter, make a perception check. Natural 20. Okay, you see another vine coming in from the other side. Oh, shit. Okay, uh, I am rushing Augre towards the farm as fast as possible. What do you do, Matt? Oh, and I'm shouting to Augre, RUN! Trying to follow him, like, what did you do this No, time? I'm not like, grabbing onto you and running <clears> as <throat> fast as possible. It's like, what did you do, bastard? I didn't do anything, you son of a bitch! It's you! <laughs> not running with him, Yeah, I have an uh, uh, SM of 7. I'm booking it. I also have an SM of 7. 7. Yes. So uh, we move 35 uh, feet every 6 seconds. We are booking it. You're out Wait, of how it. is your 7? Um, I have a, a five to begin with, and then I have light feet, which gives me oh. plus two. So, uh, yes. So, I we are out of the woods? Yeah. Okay. When we are out of the woods, I am going to shove him towards the farm and go, You city boys don't belong in the forest. You forest people don't belong in the city. I totally <laughs> agree with that. Stay the hell away. <laughs> and when he tried to run away, I'm going to grab him and yank him. I'm not running away. I'm saying you're stay yanking the hell away. him. You just want to yank him. Stop wanking him. Why? Stop wanking him. I swear Stanking. to God, if he kisses me, I'm going to punch somebody. <laughs> Specifically <laughs> him. Kiss the girl. <laughs> kiss la 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 la. So, enjoying your time together, you two? Hunter. Sure. What? Rolls a twenty in order to punch Matt. Rolls a one. Ends up caressing Matt. <laughs> oh god! No, no, not that again. Rope, <laughs> Matt. Hey. No, I will. Oh shit! I already used my DM reroll. In, in, in a series of critical fails later. <laughs> Dimitri comes up. Whoa! Yeah, no. If he no tries to do that, in I will the barracks. Otherwise, otherwise, I will be uh staying, and I'll be. I just saved your ass. You owe me. How would you like to be paid back? Oh god. I'm going to I look at it and go, stop. don't even try. Don't not don't even think about it. Like, and then uh, I'm gonna turn around and walk back into the woods. Okay. Does this little commotion get the attention of anyone else? No. Oh, that's no fun. I'm just trying to get a freaking Pokemon generator. That's all I ask. Okay, well that's my thing done. I'm done. Anyone else? Is everyone gonna end up going back to their house? I guess so. I I can't get any information on anybody. Yeah, I go back to my house. Is there internet? <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm staying in the woods. But this time I'm in a tree that's... What? I'm staying in the woods, but this time I'm in a tree that's close enough that I can see the farm. Okay. Um, after, um, this is getting close to eight. Um, sorry, no, never mind. Backtracking a bit. Um, that boy from earlier comes up to the house bringing some food. And he goes, here's your breakfast. Is there any meat? Yes. Okay. Feed the kitties all the meat. Okay. <laughs> Nobody gets meat but the kitties. <laughs> meet the kitty. <laughs> Except Matt and uh, Hunter. They get each <laughs> they other's meat. They get meat. <laughs> you better not say that around my character. <laughs> you two have suddenly been shipped. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no. Oh, oh. Of need all a, the need characters. Need an official be... artist for this series. And we need uh, some... Uh... Ship art going on. Damn you. <laughs> Damn you. How do I have the, the feeling Hunter is going to remove this section from the final recording? No, I'm not, but damn you straight to hell. Straight? Well, if you all are hearing this, uh, he didn't take it out. Hi! <laughs> I usually don't take anything out. Usually. <laughs> usually. The only times I take stuff out is when it gets, like, very, like, to the mechanics of the game. Okay, so... Not sure. Stay in the forest, uh, when you see the boy, uh, bring the basket <laughs> to the house. Yeah, I've already eaten, so I'm good. Okay. Um, getting close to about 8 o'clock, um... 8 a.m. or p.m.? A.m. Okay. Um, you see, uh, L Lila and Twinkle Toes heading to the house. Um, is it possible I could build a slingshot, like using foliage growth? Not in the limited time you've got available. Damn it. Mr. Pix. Wait, wait, I got one. I'm going to make an incredibly stretchy vine, tie it, like, like, <clears throat> between two of my fingers, and then put an acorn, <clears throat> and fire at Twinkle Toes. Roll to make the vine. Oh, uh, no, that's using foliage growth. Okay. I can just do that. It just takes six seconds. Roll to aim. Okay. Aim 18. Boop, boop. The acorn flies and falls short. Ah! Oh, I'll Way add my short. nature bonus. 
The acorn flies and falls short. Oh, okay. Darn it. Okay. The house may be relatively close to the forest, but here again, relative. Okay, okay. Relative to the sun, it's close. I was just, <laughs> I was just trying to have fun. Go ahead. I mean, if they were closer, I, I would say, woo! Don't. Sorry, that it you, you can't hit the house from where you're at. Okay, I understand. They walk into the house. They don't knock, they just walk in. She looks up, glances at him, looks back to whatever she was doing before. Okay, um, so you you looked up and then just looked back to whatever you were doing? Yep. She goes, where's the rest of your squad? I'm just playing with the So everyone, everyone but Hunter's in the house, right? Yeah. I just kind of point to the direction the next for, 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 where the other Grimmers are, except for Dravine. If you want the druid, you can go find him yourself. I'm not dealing with him. You're the commander of this squad. Are you really? Are you giving up command? No, <laughs> that's I what it, it sounds better. like. I'll take no, it. I just know better than to mess with him right now. We'll give it to the cat. You're his commanding officer. You're the one who has to deal with him. You, okay, Lila should know full well that she does. no one can control me. She does. Not even her. If you, I'll, I'll go find if you want. But whatever happens is on you then. I want you and your squad at the main house in an hour. All right. Okay. She turns and walks out. Do you think she's going to go and deal with you herself, Hunter? <laughs> she knows better. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to get up then and go. Especially to... the way she dealt with me. Oh, he is pissed. I'm going to, I guess I'm going to go up and get, try to tell Dream what we're doing. Okay. Well, you walk out of the house. Do we'll I play seriously? it out. Roll. Play. 20. Hunter, roll. Play. Roll? Oh, I thought we were role playing. Roll. Well, oh. she's doing a perception check. Oh, You um, are n near the edge of the forest, so I mean, she does grand have total a small of 12. Chance. Grand total of 12. You spot him in the forest. Up in a tree. I walk just to blow the tree and say, hey, she wants us in the main house in an hour. Be there and walk off. Or be square. Okay, as she comes up, I will drop an acorn on her head. Dodge! Roll a d20 and roll a d20 for dodge. No experience gained. What about if I... <laughs> Twelve. Uh, six. The acorn almost hits her head, but she pulls some Matrix stuff. No, not really. Uh, she just uh, sidesteps the acorn and it goes... Dunk. Want to try that again? I drop another one. Roll and roll. Squirrel. Nineteen. Automatic hit. Fourteen. Dang it. As it's cut, as the uh, nuts coming down, a flying squirrel leap and grabs it midair. I will yell at the flying squirrel and speak with him. Be like, "Hey, Dick, what are you doing?" He tosses it back and it lands on her head. Hey, I will. If he flies right back, I will give him a, a, a finger high five. Um, he comes back. And I, I will like you know the high five, but because he's so small, I do it with one finger. Yeah. You know the high five? No. The high five. And then I pull out another acorn and hand it to him, and then climb down. He chitters very happily and skitters off. Yep, and I... You know what? Actually, I'm going to sit there and see if I can't talk with him as she walks <laughs> off. Everywhere. That's not a booty. Booty! Um, he, he chitters a little at you, um, talks for a bit, but then dashes off. Um, it's almost as if he saw something shiny. Yeah. Oh, okay. Then I will climb down and head to the main house. I'll go grab the rest of them and get him to the main house. Do I see mm -hmm. Twinkle Toes or the chick? Mm -hmm. Not right now. Okay. I should have a reputation amongst people not to fuck with me. Or a reputation, for Matt. <laughs> or a reputation to get fucked with. With Matt. Oh, no. People no, do not no. want to fuck with me. I mean, like, send the newbie to fuck with him. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Okay, yeah. Definitely. Oh, wait. That kind sending of the newbie to? Who are you sending it to? I was joking around. What? 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 Anyway. Sparkle and glow. I, I can't hear you over all this what right now. Can you even? I can't even right now. Good. Neither can I. I can odd, but I can't even. <laughs> if you can't so even, to, can you no, odd? I'm being, I'm being serious. That's an odd. That's an odd. That's an odd. Hey, look. See, he can't so even. We, that's so we get to hey, the house. We get to the house. What's going on? Hey, look. Even. <laughs> um, now Logan can even. Anyway, what are we going to do with the house? <laughs> you just you get shown two. to a room. A large room. There's what appears to be three other squads in the room. They're sort of grouped into a cluster. There's plenty of room in between each squad. You see Twinkle Toes in one of the squads. I will glance towards him. Does he see me? No, he's uh, in oh. deep conversation with uh, someone else in his squad. Okay. 
Oh, by the way, since I probably should have mentioned this earlier, but I had taken off the disguise makeup. Okay. Give me one second to move a couple of names around. I've got to add a few names to a list. Don't you damn make that list. Your eyebrow is like twitching. It's really weird. <sighs> This folder I have is not even one gig yet. Okay. Do, 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 do. Okay. Um, you see a few more squads come in, and then uh, Lila uh, goes up front. Are you there, Delilah? I will sit in the back. I'm standing up against the wall. Hot. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> Please stop giggling. What's it like there in the city? I bet many of you are wondering why we've uh, called all of your squads in on such short notice. No. That was not meant for comment. Sorry. Can't use protection. Trying really hard not to face desk right now. Okay. <laughs> we've caught word of a colony of slaves we can actually liberate associated with Nosferatu. We've got um, a few men on one of the small islands next to Nosferatu where the slaves have been used for uh, mining. Each of your squads is being tasked with a different specific objective on that island. The key, though, is for all of you to get in, rescue those slaves, and get out as unnoticed as possible. <laughs> She's staring at your squad, Andrea. Okay. There's no no re just no reaction. I will since I'm sitting in the back, no one else should see, but I will visibly flick her off. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry. I'm playing the character. I can't help it. I'm playing the character. And I'm not gonna be street smart about it. So I'm just gonna be like, so what you want us to do is walk in, say, can we have the prisoners? I will. I will bitch slap him. And I shall I, bitch no, I will back. pimp slap him. I will pimp slap him. I will backhand him so hard, he will pass out. And I will pimp slap back. <laughs> Not if I bitch slap you so pimp slap you so hard that you pass out. You add, I will roll for it if I have to. That's not the first I'm time. I'm going to step crazy, Stu, before anything goes down. If you know what I mean. <laughs> Deal with your squad as you see fit, Andrea. I'm going to pull Matt out of this. And then hit him upside the head myself. Oh, wait. Where do you grab? Oh, my. The booty. <laughs> the booty, though. Your collar. All right, so you're going to oh, grab my collar. collar. I'm going to spin around and, like, hit you in the side of the head. Dodge. And smack you. Matt, cast me. this is the worst me. place you could do that. Visibly striking a superior officer in a room full of other people. I will that cast knee is a court-martial offense. Yeah, I will cast knee on him. <laughs> knee. Knee. <laughs> knee. Can I do I roll. I cast knee. Okay. Fifteen. Matt, you grab your ears and, you're and in fall pain. to your knees in pain. And then I'm gonna shoot him in the hand. No! Don't <laughs> Devin! <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> I will then use Fury of the Forest, grow a vine, and tie his arms together and gag him. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Alright then. And then tie him to a chair and then sit down. Oh my god. Okay. Obviously very annoyed. Okay. And I'm glaring at Lila like it's her oh, fault that I'm in this situation, because it is. Every other squad sitting there staring. I can't hear you. I'm gonna wink. I'm gonna wink at Lila. Every other squad is sitting there staring at you guys. Okay, and I will say, don't fucking look at us. She's the one that paired me with this idiot. Uh, and I'm just gonna wink at Lila. A murmur suddenly arises from all sides, basically talking about what just happened. The general consensus is... Fuck this mission if we have to work with them. <laughs> Fuck this mission if I have to work with him. I will do the mission. It is... I will put... The mission comes first. Even the squad does not come before the mission. The mission comes first. And I proved that with this mission. But he will die if he keep fucking shit up. Lila says to Andrea, get a hold of your squad. Now if I can continue without interruptions... Hey. <laughs> You're gagged. So, I am tied. Hot. <laughs> Each of your squads will be tasked specifically with the mission. Dimitri, yeah. your squad will be meeting a new member on the island. He's part of the forward recon team. She. Yeah, she. All right, then. You have tactical command. Does but... she do anything with me? Does she look at me or anything no. special? No, she's oh, talking it. to Andrea. Um, you have tactical command even though she outranks you. 
Okay. Wait, sis outranks her? Oh, they're the same rank, good. but she has um more seniority. Oh my god, S little sis ha is higher than my superior officer. This is gonna be fun. But she was just told she had tactical command. I'm still yeah. in charge! And it is her squad. Squid. So, they're the same rank, but one has seniority over the other, but the other currently has command. Currently. We don't know what Andrew's going to do. Will she maintain <laughs> command? Will she kill Hunter? Will Matt die? I'm, I, I'm surprised Lila is giving her such a hard time. Over. She knows I'm impossible to control. Will I screw everyone over? Don't tell me you're a spy. spy. Traitor! <laughs> yeah, tell, tell her a spy. Yeah, I'm a spy. Yep. You you ne you didn't ever you never figured out the clue did you? What? Never mind then. We got oh, the scar the, the whole entire fucking time. Harry Potter. Yeah, I guess it, Harry. <laughs> You're a guess it. <laughs> You're not, not Harry. Harry. Potter. Harry Potter. Potter. <laughs> you have awakened the angry spirit of the house. It eats you all up. <laughs> <laughs> we all are dead. Roll new characters. <laughs> I roll the exact same character. House goes of Gryffindor. Help me. Okay. That was so, Slytherin. Uh, Continue with the speech. <laughs> We're dead. <laughs> I, I just, I can't even. <laughs> I might odd right now, but I can't even. We fucking the DM. Yes. yes! <laughs> Three XP. My objective is complete. I am done for the day. <laughs> Except I can make it through this. Oh, oh, okay, I gotta try harder then. I think. Because <laughs> apparently Andrea's has magic powers and visibility. Okay, she uh, gives you some information about the terrain, how you're going to get there. Um, there's a boat that will be uh, taking each squad. There are multiple <clears throat> boats, but each squad is going to be put into individual boats. Um, each squad will be uh, sent in a little uh, schooner, um, a small boat and all. As the ship gets to Nosferatu, it's a trade ship. And so you're basically being sent off in trade small ship. craft to do your own objectives. Um, after she gives uh, some geography, um, places you guys need to know, rally points in case of problems. Um, she then says, Bless you. I will give a detailed briefing to each of your commanders throughout the day. They will brief you on what you need to know about your objectives. The end. Woo! The end of the session? Yes. Nope, the end of the campaign. We all died. Remember, how's Ava? 